This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop, where you, the pit crew, you are the real star today show, and today is a Friday edition of The Pit Stop, and it's an extra special Friday. Here in the States, it's a holiday weekend, Labor Day weekend, kind of the final, it's like the, the sign that summer is over. Labor Day weekend in the United States is like the final holiday of some, summer. My brother gets off work early. Everyone's in an outstandingly good mood. And it's actually fallen over or, or carried over into the news because I think everybody took the day off. I think everyone's already off for the weekend. Probably a much needed weekend for a lot of people, especially here in the States right now. Uh, hopefully most people stay safe and don't ruin it all. But uh, anyway, uh, on with the show. Um, for, I'm, I'm happy that YouTube is working because... They switched me to the new streaming thing on YouTube. I can't use the classic. I was very afraid. Seems like everything's working. My big question to all of our YouTube followers uh, is, did you get an email notification saying that we are going live? I mean, that's supposed to be a feature um, of YouTube. Uh, and Joa, that's scary. That's scary. But at least you're staying home, right? Sitting there naked alone or at home. Um... Anyway, uh, what was the other thing that was on my mind that I wanted to bring up before we got into the show? What was it? Oh, there was something else that I was supposed to remember to say or do or something. <laughs> I can't remember. I've lost my mind. It has been a crazy morning today, uh, but it's all good. It's Friday. Um, you just got it. So it doesn't send the notification until I hit live versus... When I, that really sucks. So on the old classic studio YouTube, um, when I set up a show an hour early, it would set a timer an hour early and it would send the notifications out at that point. Now it seems to allow me to set it up early, but it doesn't <laughs> send out the notifications till we're actually live. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. Um... I still can't remember what I was going to say before I went live. That's aggravating. Aggravating. Anyway, all right. Well, we are here for uh, the Friday edition of the Pit Stop. And I'm very excited about uh, the rest of today because if you guys know, and everybody should know the pattern now, um, I'm going to be live on Twitch after the Pit Stop is over. And we're going to go from... Well, before I even get to this, what do you guys think? Yes, that is wrong, Joa. That's very wrong. What do you guys think the coolest thing I've ever done on the show is? I know exactly what the coolest thing I've ever done on the show is. It's a hands down. It's no contest. Um, what is the coolest thing the Sim Pit has ever done? Take a sip of coffee. Well, here it is. <laughs> the coolest thing I've ever done was the cool suit, right? We, we were running refrigerator or frozen water through our shirt in order to keep us cool while racing. Um, absolutely the coolest thing I've ever done. However, like many DIY projects, it doesn't always go perfect. Doesn't always go perfect. Uh, anybody who's a DIYer, anybody who's ever, artists, anything or anyone who's ever done art, it's never done. It's never perfect. And we learn from our mistakes. Dave Blair, I think that's a good answer. Um, and that was frozen vodka. That was frozen vodka. That, that, that was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, anyway, today we are going to do cool suit V2. Um, and the cool suit is going to make a big change. The cool suit is going to become the cool chair. Uh, I decided there's no reason for me to wear this uncomfortable shirt while driving. Um, <laughs> I am making it a joke. Um, just bolt a freezer chest to the rig. <laughs> no, we've got all the parts. We're gonna we're gonna put a vest onto the seat. We're gonna plumb the vest, and then it means we can have a closed loop system, which means that if I accidentally turn it on, we're not gonna shoot water all over the room. And it also means that I don't have to um, 
uh, uh, unplug and plug in. I just have to put the vest on, and we're going to see how that works. So that's going to be the fun that we're going to have on Simpit Live. And since it is a holiday weekend and everybody's kind of taking the week off and there's very little news, we're going to be doing that sooner than later. When I look at my project right now, I can already see the first sim rig on Reddit that we're going to look at. That is a, a, a world record short news day. Um, <laughs> no, Joa, no, no. <laughs> Oh my god, Contender. No, that was not the coolest. Um, <laughs> guy runs ultra marathons with a fridge strapped to his back. <laughs> you guys have great ideas. Great ideas, that's for sure. I keep pressing wrong buttons today. That's the second time I've hit the wrong button. Um, anyway, all right, let's get on with the show. And like I said, it'll be a short show here on YouTube, but we are going to be live on Simpit Live on Twitch. Moving on with the cool suit, cool chair, refrigerator, suit, whatever you want to call it. Um, having John Hill feed me shots while racing in a cool suit. All right, I racing week 14. Notice they have the stamp over the 13. Anybody's accustomed to. I had a buddy who, uh, I did it. I did it at the beginning of the week. My buddy called me. He's like, all right. He's all pissed off because it's week 13. And I'm like, no, it's not week 13, dude. It's week 14. Um, so, yeah, hang in there. Uh, anyway, week 14 instead of week 13 is going to have some official series in Oval Road Dirt. They're going to have fun. So all of these official series, by the way, in case you're new to iRacing, and I've sent out a few codes recently, so I know a few of you are new to iRacing. Next week, um, yeah, Dave Blair, the true force is still right here. Right here. <coughs> um, we're going to do some more driving with it. We're not done. We're not done with that one just yet. Anyway, these are the official series. These series will still pay points or cost points. But if you're still trying to license up before the end of the season, that's where you can still score point um so and then the fun series of course are non points and those are the things you'll be able to compete in so there you go that's the only news there i racing all right there's the shot the new corvette c8 r the first mid-engine how long did they talk about a mid-engine corvette forever forever but um Am I going to put the Star Wars sticker on my True Force? <laughs> I want to thank Joa Antonio um, for providing me. This was a contest we did a while ago with a making um, um, me look like any other character from any other. Who do I look like? No, no, no. The other one. I don't remember. But anyway, it was the Sean Cole uh, uh, Jedi pictures that we were able to use last week. So... Uh, let's see here. Corvette, uh, they have a video for us. They have a video for us. Michelin, what? Michelin wrote it. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm... No, 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 no. This is what we want. Here we go. Why is my audio all screwed up today? Ever since I played Devin's video. Woo, woo! Welcome on down, Woot and crew. Okay, then were you guys hearing a waffling to the uh, audio there? It sounded fine to you guys. It's just on my end. Cannot wait. <laughs> Bro, <Rally. laughs> it's not a bug, it's a feature. Alright, that will be fun. I'm looking forward to the Corvette. I'm sure a lot of you guys are. How weird. Yeah, I'm hearing like the it sounds really bad. Uh 
All right, anyway, the Corvette. It'll be in the next build coming up in just a couple weeks, so that's pretty cool. Assetto Corsa, Dave Perel with some new se setups for the Aston GT4. And if you want to... That's, that's kind of cool. We're getting into some ACC. And we might have to start checking out some of these setup packs if we're looking for a performance edge on our buddies in our uh, Simpit patron set of Corsa league that we've been playing around with. So we're going to do another session of that on Sunday. Uh, what else? Why am I here? R Factor. Did it scroll on me? Let's see. World EX Championship. 1,000 electric horsepower will be unleashed while racing for the climate. Say hello to the RCCO World EX Championship. The Sim Racing Series for Electric Prototypes. Prototypes. We're supporting the fight against climate change with the help of sim racing and an all-new media platform. All right. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, there is a balance of performance update to all of their GTE cars tonight in our Factor 2. We were expecting this. They warned us in that update that we checked in on. Um, Coach Dave's setups are behind a paywall. Is that right? Is that right, Joa? If that's the case, then I'm going to stop mentioning them, too. Because I think I mention every time he has a new one, and I assumed they were being done in conjunction with them, not... Wow, it's kind of odd that they're promoting that, now that I think about it. All right, we're done with Coach Dave, then. That's the end of that. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, let's see. Get your Get your fight on. It's time to fight for position. Hot lap qualifier for next round of the BMW Motorsport Sim M2 CS Racing Cup is online. So you got that going on in our factor. Here it is. Balance of performance update release 21 hours ago. Um, you are the chief of tech for the Silver State Classic Challenge organization. I've gotten to drive some great cars. Oh, that's cool, Lee. You lucky dog. You are living the life. Um, videos are good, but you wouldn't pay for. Coach Dave Blairs, they're called Stock Tune. <laughs> All right. They're worth every penny, basement. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. But do we continue to promote it? You want to drive a Yugo in iRacing, Dennis? Why? You can drive a Yugo in Sims, just not, um, just not in iRacing. I think there's a Yugo for R Factor One. There might even be an a Yugo for Assetto Corsa. Belly, you haven't missed that much, man. We've just been BSing away, talking sim racing, looking at some stories. Um, I want a Yaris like GT. The new Yaris GT looks pretty awesome. Um, hey, Mr. Dead, have you driven it or you just got it? Mr. Dead got his... PC Racer 488 package with the new pedals, thanks to us. Awesome. Good setup there. I am not. I am not sponsored by Thrustmaster as I steer you that direction, just so you know. Um, all right, what else? P cars. How many of you guys are playing P cars? I played some P cars. Three. Um... I am, nah, I was talking to Devin. I was talking to Devin this morning about Project Cars 3. Uh, I don't want to let too much out of the bag. But in a nutshell, here's what I have to say about Project Cars 3. How many of you are playing it? I want to know what you think. Um, if you are a sim racer, 
If you're a hardcore sim racer and you're waiting on Project Cars 3, yes, Viper, I was having the same issue. Um, if, if you are a sim racer, you consider yourself a sim racer, and you like Project Cars 2 and you are waiting for Project Cars 3, I'm going to tell you to just stay away. And if you're coming at it in that angle, it's terrible. I said it. Terrible. On the other hand, if you're a gamer looking for another game that you can play with a go good career mode to play a game much like other games, not Sims, it's a really good game. It's a real, I still have not got to the point where I'm like, this is not a good game. It is a really good game. But if you're a sim racer who is hoping Project Cars 2, 3 was going to be building upon Project Cars 3, you will be massively disappointed. Save your money. So anyway, I'm going to do a review. It'll probably be like a seven to eight minute review. So I did pretty much give you guys the final thoughts right there. But Project Cars 3... I can't say, I can't say I'm disappointed because it's a really good game, but, oh, anyway, would you like more torque, more RPM perhaps? Get the type of power upgrade you want by learning how each upgrade works in Project Cars 3 with Casey Ringley, Vehicle Technical Art and Handling at SMS. Um, yeah. This week's Project Cars Rival Mode Challenge brings all the poise and power of Formula B to the tricky and imposing Imola circuit. Get a lap under 131 and you got a shot at topping the global leaderboards. Ah, I might have to give it that a shot just to see. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. And, and there's a few things recently... <laughs> Billy says it is not a good game either. Billy's played it deeper than I have. So I think that's a valid, valid uh, comment. <laughs> I think I, basically in conversation, I think I've played it right to the point where from here on it doesn't necessarily perform. <laughs> How unfortunate that that's my stopping point. Um I, PS4, I think that's a very fair statement. Uh, let's see here. What else? That's it. That's it from Project Cars. Um, like I said, we're halfway through the news, you guys. Everyone took the day off. Formula One. Hello, F1 drivers. We're still making updates to the Podium Pass Series 2. It's on its way, and we'll, nil and we'll now start a week or so later than planned. We can't wait to see... We can't... Wait for you to see what's coming up. Um, okay, so anyone going to buy that? I don't know if I'm going to run out for that. Maybe. Fastest circuit on the count. Now they just get into their normal uh, tagging into Formula 1. All right, WRC 9. How many of you played WRC 9? I'm getting all twitchy. Oh, WRC 9. Man, I was having really good time playing up WRC 9. Really good time playing WRC9. And then it kicked me in the balls. <laughs> Man, that game has a problem. Um, I know Billy had the same problem I did. Um, and I know a lot of others have the same problem that I've had, been having. Devin played it and did not have that problem. So I don't know what. He did mention a couple of things that I have to go try. Vignette? <coughs> And motion blur. He said, turn off vignette and motion blur. That might help. So I maybe maybe even before we go to the cool suit, we're going to try that out real quick. I was really loving WRC9 until I got a stutter that basically said, hey, if you were going to be first in this particular stage, you're now going to be 10th with massive damage. Um... Yeah, I, I heard that vi uh, viral. I heard about that one. He got a different bug of a perma screech. Um, 
Cranky, P Cars 3 is free with any purchase of the Madbox. Um Oh, it didn't do anything for Billy. Great. James M, welcome to the machine. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, let's see, finding fan reviewers. Anyway, there was a small update, by the way. Uh, this was posted an hour ago, and I got really excited when I saw this. A small update, version 1.0.32.10, for the PC version of WRC9 now available to download. The patch fixed an issue where players could finish a rally under a few seconds. Entries in the leaderboard who use this method have been removed. That's it. <coughs> so, it, a small patch, but not what I wanted. Um, I cannot wait for the patch that says we found a massive memory loss issue and fixed it. And Because when they do... I'm going to be all over WRC9. I really really it's one of the it's one of the best modern rally games I've driven. It has some really good features. It's got a few things that upset me and you'll hear more about it in my review and more live shows with it on Simpit Live at Twitch. But um yeah. Um not yet. Uh, we appreciate the interest in club systems. However, the huge demand has resulted in some server issues. We're working to restore these as soon as possible. What about the pauses, man? I, uh, what about the pauses? You're addressing complaints. Why not the one that made me turn the game off and stop playing? I, then again, I didn't report it to them. Um, I know it's been reported, but I didn't take the initiative on my end so I should shut up um uh blah, blah, blah. you know my chat's doing a weird delay thing over here YouTube is way faster than um over there or am I not oh I'm not even getting YouTube that's what's going on what that happened the other day and it wasn't me it was YouTuber okay anyway I um, now I have to watch two chats today. We'll get this sorted. But again, I'm dealing with the new YouTube thing and not every... I have to... A few things to figure out. Uh, you guys are talking Aussie. That's why uh, Randy wrote... Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that'll be awesome when WRC8 is available on Steam at a discounted price. Um, okay, what else? Race room, race room. So, tonight, no, this was yesterday. We missed it. Sorry. <laughs> Round five of the Lotta Sport Championship. 15,000 on the line in that championship. Um, and then currently P1 with this lap for this is Jack Keatley. Currently P1 with a 133.7 in this DTM Esport Championship. And then the big one is five hours ago. So this is for tomorrow. Um, the Carrera Cup DE is heading into its final tomorrow. Can Moritz Lohner continue his dominating performance from the semifinals or real, or a real-life driver come out on top? 15000 on the line. That's tomorrow in race room. And that's all we have there. Mr. Dead, you play with Alice Cooper? For real? For reals? Studio? You're an Alice Cooper studio musician? Is that what you're saying? Um, Thrustmaster posted this. Also, I got an email from the group behind it uh, talking about it. But uh, <laughs> Keatley's quicker with short hair. Man, he did have some long hair when we first met him, didn't he? 24-hour uh, Le Mans. The Le Mans Esports Series Super Final will be played online. The four days of competition promised to be just as intense as last year when the final was held at the Le Mans circuit. Read more. They got a little bitty. I call them bitty leaks. <laughs> Bitties. Everything's bitties now. Oh, that's awesome. That is cool. I'm jealous of people who can play instruments because 
Uh, truth be told, you know, in my day, you know, I, I read an article the other day. You know you're old, you know, if you had CDs in your car, right? Uh, you know you're old if you had a CD player, portable CD player. And I thought, oh, wow, that makes me super old because I had a tape player. Uh, I even had cars that had tape decks. Uh, I even had a car that had a V8, a, a eight track uh, tape. Um, so I'm super duper old, right? Um, yeah, Dennis. <laughs> um, what was I getting at? What was the new ver? Oh man, I'm so absent minded today. Apparently, um, playing in a oh, in my day, thank you. Um, I. I had to learn how to square dance in elementary school. How many of you had to learn to square dance when you were in element? That's how you know you're like ridiculously old for this gaming world we're in. Um, square dancing was taught in elementary school when I was a child. I don't know about you guys. Um, so what was my point there? People can play music. I'm so jealous of people who can play a musical instrument because I played the snare drum in band when I was in elementary school and I was so freaking bad at it that I literally just had to quit out of embarrassment because I just couldn't get it rhythm I'm the jerk how many times have you seen the jerk this is my new thing how many times have you seen the jerk I don't know I I don't know start to finish I don't know I have had the jerk on my TV no less than 50 times in my life. Uh, <laughs> uh. Line dance. Yes, we had to do a little bit of line dancing. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Line dancing is one of the stages of, of square dancing. No, we didn't line dance. I take that back. <laughs> Lonnie, I, you know how old you are. Man, if you had to square dance in elementary school, chances are you are on the older side of, let's say, 49 years old. <clears throat> and it might be regional, but I think that was pretty much everywhere in America back then. Oh, I hated it so much. God, did I hate it. My mom forced me and my brother to learn the waltz and a couple other like old, but again, keep in mind, if you're younger than this and you think this is insanity that you're listening to, just keep in mind that we're also talking like the dark ages, right? I mean, by comparison today, uh, your television didn't have 400 channels 24 um, seven. If you're, 49 or over television was like 13 channels and most of them went off the air about midnight um you didn't have the internet you didn't have a computer um even if you and if you had a a a, a computer a, a, a an atari 2600 this was laughing like your mom would be like well you can only play for like two hours they didn't just let you play 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 like we do now um anyway so it was a different so when we talk about mom wanting to square teach you to waltz there wasn't the same kind of entertainment 24 7 that we have now um <laughs> yeah depending on where you lived i guess i've always lived in an area that had heavy tv um yeah watching tv before the remote control black and white i watch plenty of black and white um, now, I, from the moment that I started watching TV, it was already color, let's be honest. But there were still things that were done in black and white or played in black and white still. Um, Munsters, yeah. Original Munsters. That was black and white. <laughs> Sundials, not watches. and <laughs> Not that old, John. Oh, oh. I love these diversions, you guys. Um... Anyway, getting back to, I'm really jealous of people who can play music, and Mr. Dead uh, being a bassist at that level is, is outstanding. I applaud you. I mean, I'm, I'm such a big fan. Of, you, if you guys don't know this, I'm such a fan of art, you know, and to me, art is music. Art is art on the wall. 
Art is, uh, to me, construction, uh, cars. Um, there are a lot of things that I really consider art. Um, but those are the things that in life I've been grounded to. And I just, you know, I'm so jealous of really good painters. I'm so jealous of really good musicians. And they're just, they're talents that I have not, I've tried. I've taken so many art classes and I'm terrible. Um, I've taken music classes and I am terrible. I can't even play rock band well. Um... <laughs> All right, all right. Are we done with throwback lifetime? I apologize. This is the point where a few of you usually are like, uh, is there not sim racing news? Or, um, Sean, are you still talking? <laughs> Lamar Esport, final. Uh, this is a new picture. They just posted this 31 minutes ago cool looking set i like this keyboard holder <coughs> does anybody know this does anybody know what this keyboard mouse tray holder is it is just being held on with a pipe clamp it looks like onto a next level fgt what is this and where do i get one i want two of them one on each side of my rig, to be honest with you. Oh, if anybody can find me this, I will say, if you send me a link to this, I will send you a Simpit sticker for sure. For sure. Make it a DIY. Like, do you think that my 3D printing plastic would be whole i don't know if it would be strong enough to do this i think that's asking a lot of plastic do you think it would work and is it worthy of it ps4 what did you get me that's close oh that's super expensive tofi what did you get me i'm going to show you the floating shelf <laughs> That's not what I'm wanting. <laughs> Tofi, you cracked me up, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. This is the one that uh, PS4 found. It's a telescoping and rotating version. But it doesn't articulate. Ah, ah, now being a perfectionist, this articulates. I think we might have to make our own if you guys can't find me one. AVLT, um, the Obutto one. Yes, Obutto had something like that. Kath, all right, let's see here. What do we got? Yes, can, now wait. We could bolt that to... David, bring on the pain. You have stickers, don't you? Do you want more? David, hit me up on Discord if you want stickers. I'm going to give you a... That's a winning prize. I can put that on my rig right now. I can get two of those. Um, all right. And then, Kath, what did you find us? <gasps> Ooh. Damn, look how expensive that is. No, I didn't say cheap. All right. I'm... You know what? Everybody who, these are all contenders. PS4, email me or hit me up on Discord. Sean, S-H-A-E, S-H-A-U-N at the simpit.com. And I'll send you stickers. Kath, hit me up on Discord or send me an email. I will give you stickers. David Payne, hit me up on Discord. I will send you stickers. Tofi, as much as that was not what I was looking for, I will send you stickers. Rick Motek. <gasps> How did I not know of this one? How did I not know of this? 80 bucks. Oh, Marco. That's the one. That's the one right there. Hello, Frank. I would like to demonstrate how good your keyboard holders are for DIY rigs across the board. Can you please send me two? I want one on each side because I'm a streamer. 
Oh, yeah, no, we're going with this. $90, $80. Oh, wait, you're not looking at it. I'm sorry. Jeez, Louise, look at this, you guys. That's the best. Out of stock. Hello, Frank. Can I be first in line? Yeah, no doubt they're out of stock. I happen to need the Ikea shelf for something else, Tofi. Um, but I have a different one that just goes... It's a true floating shelf. Um, no brackets visible at all. I have one right there. Um, I'm going to get a second one of those for the sim pit wall. All right. I got to remind myself that I want that because... This next level one works out nice, but it would be even better if I could move things out of my way when I don't need them. Yeah, that one looked nice. This one here looks pretty snazzy, though. I gotta admit, this one here from Thrustmaster's picture, look at how big it is. I mean, that would hold any keyboard mouse. I could put two mice on it if I needed to. Could put a flight stick on it. Um... We might have to do a DIY version as well. pretty slick yeah that's kind of slick right there I can mount that to this post right there and put a button box on that top one and a keyboard on the bottom Big cheese! Welcome to the machine. Welcome to the crew. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. We've had our fun. We've had our distractions. We've had our left turns. My audio is all fucked up. All right. What else? That's it from Thrustmaster. Uh, we just talked WRC9. Fanatics got their new CSL Elite steering wheel. It's just come out, and the wheel... Uh, it looks like their previous wheels, but supposedly it's got some new features like a new quick release, thicker grip, uh, removable shifter paddles to be able to use static shifter paddles, um, and some other things. So, new product from Fanatic. You can check it out at their website. And Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is Mario Kart for the real world and Nintendo Switch. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we don't do push ups anymore. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Home circuit. Okay, wait, wait. Do you guys do you guys realize what you're seeing here? Just so you know. That's virtual racing in his living room. Oh my god, this is awesome. I have to go get a Twitch for Mario Kart? A Switch? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> oh my god, I totally want to do this. This is awesome. Remember I uh, so we spent how long talking about how much there is only a handful of channels on TV. 
Oh my god. I would my mom would have never had to have paid for a babysitter. She could have left the house for six hours and we wouldn't have even known. Talk about something fun to do with your kids. You guys, you have kids? This looks awesome. Oh my god, I'm blown away. I did not, would I, so who shared this today? Um, Mark. <laughs> I had no idea when I pulled up the link what that meant. Oh, is that right? That was a DIY of sorts. I'm getting myself one of these. I have to. Don't I? We'll get my brother on the show. I guess we'd need two switches then, huh? Oh, I gotta do this. Can I pre-order? I'll pre-order that. No, I gotta find out if it's gonna work or not. That looks awesome. All right, there you go. Uh, another, look at all the RS1. Look at how many people have, uh, <laughs> look at how many people have too much time on their hands, right? Like sitting at home with too much time because all of a sudden we are seeing a lot of home-built RS1s. Look at this beauty. This is one of the best ever by Rocco. Uh, that's the Rick Motec plans. And an awesome looking game room slash bedroom. Is that what we have going on here? Maple Leafs fan, Broncos fan. Uh, what jersey is that? Who, who's Rashford? Um. Chase Elliott, the nine. Um, I like this lamp, by the way. <laughs> that is a cool lamp right there. This almost looks like a studio apartment. Like, there's the kitchen. This would be a dining room for, like, a normals. And then that was the bed right there, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a studio. Yeah, Rocco, M Rocco 11. Very nice. Is that Man United? Yeah! No. <laughs> Man U. A hanging scoreboard on the ceiling. It's yeah, it's like a it kind of looks like the the jumbotron, the center hanging jumbotrons with a Looking down, I mean, yeah, it's kind of cool. Basement? Is this a basement room? Oh, with that window like that? Dave Blair. Yeah, that could be. This is his private room, like when the wife throws him out. All right, nice job. Very impressive. Um, Yeah, but it looks like one of those funny, like, lower windows, right? Like a ground level window? I don't know. Hockey stick. I love playing the spy game. The voyeur game. Yeah, it does. I'd, I'd move into that room right now. I'd move right there, right now. Right here, right now. All right. Uh, I just, <laughs> I love when people just do whatever it takes. So here's his setup for not so much the GT Omega. That's a fine rig. I'm not, nothing bad to say about that, but... What I'm getting at is the total DIY wood. That resembles my monitor. I've got triple monitors and two computers. Four monitors and two computers on some 2 by 4 uprights. So it doesn't have to be expensive and it doesn't have to be super nice all the time. This one was posted by Borrow1990. It's a start. Indeed it is, bud. It sure is. I'm impressed. Uh, we have a few, so I'm, I should grab my DIY wheel. I have 99% finished my first DIY 
rig wheel. And I'm mostly happy. It doesn't look as nice as this one. This is the Audi GT3 DIY steering wheel, 3D printed by Pokor Nayib. Poker Nayib. Pretty nice. That's much nicer than mine. How do you print that sticker? Dave Grunnell, can you print a sticker that looks like that with your just regular laser printer? And then how do you attach that sticker <coughs> to the wheel? And I don't want paper sticker because if it's the paper sticker, then it just wears off super quickly, doesn't it? Um, anyway, here's another one. Another one, same guy, because so many people ask for the files, it's now available. Bam. That's pretty badass. My rim looks good on your five inch phone. I'll, I'll, I'll grab my wheel, we'll do a little comparison. Um, after eight years of a G27 and G29, he upgraded. The difference is insane. He went to uh, a CSL. I don't know if I call it an insane difference, but yeah, well, Logitech's are real weak. Uh, what if I want to make it myself? A uh, thin layer of varnish, that would work. Yeah, a decal. So how do you print a decal, Dennis? With easy, print mirror image on the stickers back in paper and then use an iron transfer toner. Um, oh, but then you got to stack them. If you do vinyl, you got to like layer your things and there's a limitation on color. Buy decal sheets. Um, PCB. I'm not sure what PCB is. Uh, Dennis, do, I don't suppose you have a link to the decal sheets. Um, yeah, Joa, like the one you sent me, that was, do you have a vinyl cutter? You did that all by hand, right? <laughs> Go to my print bureau and ask for a vi vinyl print. Printed circuit board. So print with easy print mirror image on stickers back in paper, then use iron to transfer toner. That doesn't sound easy, Tofi. All right, I'm gonna have to look into it because mine looks bare like this one. Uh, here's M Boo Boo <laughs> Boo Boo. There you go and then put varnish over that. Because David just says he has a regular desktop inkjet printer. And I'm like, okay, well I used to make stickers, but then they'd be paper. And then I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, but they won't have any gloss. And they'll wear. Um, Tofi, Google. Oh, I see. But could I do color that way, Tofi? Those all look like they're kind of black and white-ish. All right, so here's M. Boo Boo, his DIY Porsche RSR wheel. That looks cool. I like the 3D printed knobs. I made some really nice 3D printed knobs for mine, and I didn't get to use them. Um, here's an Am Studio inspired button box, but he needs help in comments. I'm not sure why he needs help. Furry a lot with his DIY box. I've had a lot of people ask me to make just a simple button box again. So it might be time to do one of those here on the show as well. Um, whoops, hold on. Where did my YouTube go? There we go. No, Dave Blair, there is not a Sin Pit race tonight. Um... Yeah, I'll have to look into options because that's the one thing mine's missing is a little final prettying up, I think. I have so many DIY projects. 
Um, all right. So he got his dad into sim racing, got the G29 last week from his gift, and now he's building a sim racing wheel stand. So here's dad, Brian's dad, building himself a wheel stand to hold his wheel. Pretty cool. Immediately got sick of sitting at a desk, I guess. Where there's a will, there's a way, man. All right, what else? Beckley. Beckley has thrown down the gauntlet. I would come after you, Beckley. But as of now, I can't finish a stage without getting a glitch that leads to a crash. I mean, I can do it and see if I get lucky or just keep restarting. Um, this is WRC9. One of their uh, their challenges there, so anyone can do it. But Beckley is here in chat or usually is hanging out with us. Can you beat Beckley? But there he is. Number one at Rally Italia Sardegna with a 316, a clear 15 seconds faster than Ott Tanakh in second. And uh, Sebastian Loeb, look at that, down in sixth place, Sebastian Loeb. So some big hitters there even as well. And then he did another one, Rally Turkey, reverse. I might have to come after you, Beckley. I don't think I can get anywhere into the ballpark of what you're running. Uh, 443 at Rally Turkey, reverse. And I know Devin, Devin Booth, Baba Boothy, he did a video that came out yesterday on YouTube. And can you beat Booth at Turkey WRC leaderboard challenge? So you can watch his effort, see how he did it, and see if you can beat his time. And I'm going to get out there. And I guess since both Beckley and, oh, 439 now, running it over and over again. I guess I could just make that my goal. But there's Boothy running it as well. And you can watch this video on Simpit and uh, find out his time and see if you, here it is. There it is. He was number one at the time, I believe. I can't see it. Um, let's see, which? 10th, 10th place for Booth with a 524. Dang, you're flying, Beckley. You are flying. And what else? Uh, Dirt Rally League, we got some results from this week so far. Booth's in ninth place there. Macho man, Randy Savage, leading the way with a 221.16. Brandon, the Mixer, 99 in second. F. Dioniso. Dioniso. I got to learn how to say your name properly. And Dave Blair in fourth. Aless Mom in fifth. PS4 in sixth. Lonnie in seventh. <laughs> TFR in eighth. Booth, Ola. John George Hill, Ken Scion, Road Rally Race. There you are, turn seven. All of you are out there. Kath is out there in 15th. Douglas Freshness in 16th. Woot, woot, woot. Bring it up the rear in 17th place. Congratulations to all you guys. I'm not sure how long left in that one. So, <coughs> excuse me. And that takes us to the last story of the day. Why am I showing a Soto Corsa Competizione? Why am I showing that beautiful Lamborghini at Spa? Well, here's why. Uh, this weekend, this is now, the Sim Pit is working with a group called simracing.gp. And you can go to their website and check it out. They're in a beta phase. They're not letting everybody in just yet. They have asked us to do a controlled environment shakedown test of their platform. And so me and the patron crew, this isn't open to everybody. This is only the patron crew are running some races, shaking down the system, but it means that we're getting some really good multiplayer racing in a set of course of competizione. So we've had some interesting moments like pit windows and things that didn't work out right or weather that changed dramatically on us. It's all been fun, but it's been a learning curve for us and their system, but it's been quite a privilege and it's been a lot of fun. Well, we're going to do another one of those race Sunday and I believe, I believe I'm going to stream this weekend. I believe this weekend I'm going to stream the race. So Sunday at 10 a.m., we're going to be doing a Seto Corsa Competizione patron-only race. No trophy on the line. This is just for fun and bragging rights. And there was an email sent out to everybody in patron. If you're a patron member and you didn't get the email, contact me. I can give you the password. And uh, if you're part of the patron, go to the patron chat in our Discord, and you can find all the details on how to join Sim Racing GP and then be there racing with us on Sunday at Spa. We're going to do another one next weekend as well. 
Um, I'm sorry, no. We're testing this because at the end of the month, this month's patron trophy race is going to be at Spa in a Soto Corsa Competizione at the end of the month. That's going to be Saturday the 26th coming up. I'm going to need to send that email out. I already sent that email out, but I need to send one making it very crystal clear that that's also part of what we're doing here. So anyway, um, just trying out new things. Should be a lot of fun. Another reason, no, another motivation to join our uh, patron team. And uh, anyway, that's going to do it. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Labor Day weekend to those of you in the States. Enjoy. Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful three-day weekend that you have ahead of, of you. I have some great weather here. It's going to be super hot, but it's going to be beautiful. And I have a lot of things going on over the weekend for me. We got DIY projects. We got game testing. We got wheel review. So many things that we're working on uh, this week. And uh, the mount. Oh, oh. Does it? There's a picture of it. Um, he made it himself. Thank you, T T Slapper. I will send you a sticker if you hit me up, Sean S H A U N at the simpit.com. I will send you a simpit sticker just for getting that confirmation. Here it is, just so you guys can see uh, the actual post. Mark had mentioned it, but here it is in text. Uh, love the keyboard. Where from? I made it myself, bro. <laughs> Well done, guy. Well done. Well done. So anyway, that's going to do it for today's show. Get out there. Do some sim racing. Have yourselves a great weekend. Be safe. And I'll see you on our next show. Uh, broadcast schedule. Tonight, we are not doing an oval race. Tonight, we are taking a week off from the oval series. So everybody has a little time to themselves. I'm sure the crew on our Discord channel might spontaneously put something together. You never know. Um, and then Sunday, we will have that patron race. And other than that, we'll have a few streams of me testing things and doing DIYs. I am going to continue live on SidPit Live over there on Twitch. We're going to work on a few more things for the rest of the day here, the rest of the morning, and then call it a day over there as well. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the crew. Be sure to thumbs up if you like what we did. Thumbs down if you think it sucked. Be sure to subscribe and tell a friend. Have a great weekend. This is the SidPit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.